Hey, it's Red Eye. It's like Meet the Press, but with more cross-dressing. We're here with Rachel Marsden, Bill Schultz, and Angela McGlowan, author of Bamboozled, How Americans Are Being Exploited by the Lies of the Liberal Agenda. You're also a Fox News political analyst. Yes, I am. Welcome aboard. Thank you. Let me say hello to our guests on remote. Dom Herrera, the great stand-up comedian. How are you? Good, how you doing? I'm doing good. LA. I can tell by the backdrop. You see it behind me? Yeah. Yeah, you look like Godzilla. Thank you, I appreciate that. I feel <laughs> yeah. large on the city. Yeah. LA looks very cardboardy. And in our Fox basement, we have Corey Sika, <laughs> the managing editor of Gawker. Hi, Dot Greg. Com. How's it going, Greg? Good. I love your new haircut, by the way. Thanks, Daddy. 19 year old speed skater Nicole Begg shed her clothes in a bid to raise the profile of the sport and attract a sponsor. She agreed to the photo shoot after becoming frustrated at a lack of recognition in England. And now Nick hopes the trashy pics will help the sport grow in stature. I know one thing that's currently growing in stature. Of course, I'm talking about my mutual funds portfolio. I recommend investing in emerging markets, by the way. I think if people want to raise awareness for things, they should do it through the art of nudity. But that looks like that would hurt, especially if she fell and the skate went the other way. Yes, but let's not think about that. Let's just think about her being naked. <laughs> Well, she was skating in my rubber-clad apartment. She would not get hurt. <laughs> oh, she would not get no, hurt? No, no, no. I promise you. So you go ahead. So you think I have that it's say... more when people do things in the nude that it brings more attention? Exactly. Mm. We were going to do this whole show in the nude. Mm. I don't know why we didn't. Mm. Corey, did you want to say something? Oh, no, I was just excited that I think the, the way that Duke lacrosse players could maybe help their reputation is to do this naked as well. <laughs> That's true. That's true. <laughs> Dom, don't you think there's so, much, so many people in the world going around trying to raise awareness for things? They're trying to raise awareness for snails, raise awareness for starvation, raise awareness for I don't know what else. That's where I run out so of we should all, They should all just get naked to a raise awareness. Isn't it amazing how a person becomes a nudist <laughs> or naked, like it changes whatever they do exactly. all of a sudden. Like it's the easiest thing. Any of us can do this and yet they get, a, of course, none of us, um, all of us are not as hot as that chick, but I think they should actually <laughs> hire her as the stripper and everything. I would go see her. I, I don't would think too. she's going to be working for Disney though. <laughs> too just too serious, I tell ya. All right, I want, I want to talk about this nude car thief. Uh, it, Who happened, was? <laughs> no, I can't stop thinking about it. She probably shouldn't be naked. Her name is Lisa Isidro. She's a 35-year-old California woman. She stole a car, but then they put her in the, in, the, in, the, in the cop car, and she ran out. The cop had to shoot her in the arm. She was completely naked, but the cop had a problem because he didn't know how to appreh apprehend a naked suspect because he's afraid of being accused of inappropriate behavior by grabbing her or anything like that. And it made me think, Dom, and I'm posing this question to you. If you're going to commit a crime, shouldn't it be when you're about to be arrested? Shouldn't you take off your clothes? Yeah, that's always a good idea. She looks like she was beat up by a lacrosse team. Oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, I, 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 if, if somebody's coming at me or I'm chasing somebody, how do you, how do you get a handle on somebody who's naked? Well, you just, you know, just jump on them or take them by their arms. I don't know. Is this, is this the Rodney King of naked people now? Is that what we're dealing with yeah, now? Is that a beat you. down that we're witnessing here? I think she'd be easy to grab. I mean, it looks like she has a lot of folds. Oh. You got options. Uh, Corey, you get the last word on this police. horrible, horrible topic. Well, you know, there's always floppy bits, Greg. Don't yeah. forget. <laughs> yeah, it's and there's a man behind you. Hello, man. Yeah, they're working. It's, it's 3, 2.30 in the morning, they're working. <laughs> That's fantastic. Democratic presidential hopeful John Edwards spent Wednesday morning at a New York nursing home as part of his Walk a Day in My Shoes campaign, demonstrating the message behind the mantra, J. Ed lovingly shaved a resident's grizzled mug. In return, the old man peed on Edwards' shoes. I made that up. That's not true. That's mean. Why do... Why do presidential candidates have to do such silly things? They have to kiss babies, they have to shave old people. Why don't they just like mow my lawn or because something? Because they're desperate. They're desperate to get votes and they're whores. They'll do anything to get votes. Yeah. You said That's whore. It. Not how. <laughs> See, how is the bonics. Whore, how. Mm. There you go. See the difference? Mm-hmm. John, you think John Edwards is a whore? I think no, he's, I think, I, he's think a... I think politicians that will do anything to get the vote are bamboozlers mm. and whores. Bamboozlers? There you go. Oh, the bottom line is this. The title of your book. The bottom line is this. They will do anything. You know, sometimes whores do anything to get paid. They'll do anything to get a vote. And that's John Edwards. That's true. Corey, I would have been more impressed if he gave somebody a Brazilian. 
Well, you know, I think um, I think we'll see as the primaries get earlier each year and the uh, you know the races heat up. I think we're going to see candidates going to any lengths. I think you will see Hillary Clinton doing yard work. You will see Edwards, you know, somewhere with the thing over in the business. In the hey, but but will you see Hillary Clinton go to another black church and say I'm no ways tied? You know, that was really patronizing to me. I'm no ways tied. Like she grew up in the black it's, area of town. Is it just yeah. the bad accent that you totally. found really? offensive totally yeah. bad but you know what I found more offensive black people going amen thank you Jesus thank you Jesus yeah like she's a preacher